first step to removing SMD chips is to take some rosin soldering flux and rubbing it across the points. This allows better transfer of solder to your desoldering witch wick, <coughs> which we'll be using. Get a nice thick coat over it. Next up, take some soldering wick, lay it over where you're planning to remove solder at, and heat it. I don't do the whole desoldering wick like some people do. I do a little piece at a time and pull it up each time, otherwise you may have a problem with the wick sticking and little pieces of copper getting stuck, which will not be good for installation later. You just go across the whole side. Not real tough at all. <coughs> Make sure you do get it all though. Because if there's any on there, when you actually lift these legs off of the motherboard, we'll run into problems. But, get those nice and good. And then, my little trick is to take a pen with a diameter big enough that it'll just barely pop the pens up when we stick it underneath. And all you gotta do is start it at one side and you want to keep it flat and parallel with the pens otherwise you'll lift them more than you need and slide across. Now if you ever run into one that sticks a little bit do not force it just heat it a little more and with some desoldering wick over it and take care of that. <clears throat> then what you want to do is Okay, I can't find my magnifier. There it is. Make sure all of them are lifted up because sometimes it'll just bend one a little. Looks like we're good though. And then take a small flathead screwdriver, push them back down over their spots. Now is the best time to adjust any that may be bent. Like if they were bent to the left or right, take a hobby knife and just kind of adjust them. I'm going to check that real quick. It looks like they're pretty much okay. You shouldn't have too much of a bending problem. And then just go around the rest of the chip and remove the solder from them. <coughs> 